guys, Michael Sanchez, violin teacher here. I'm gonna be going over some vibrato drills today that are gonna drastically help you guys out. So the first one is my finger angles test. So what I want you guys to do is place a low first finger on the E string, F natural, and also leave down your fourth finger on the G string, which is a D. If you can play these two notes at the same time, it's implying that you have good hand height. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's my F natural, here's my D on the G string. And my F natural is still down. Fourth finger. Make sure you're playing these in tune, that's really important. And if you're doing that properly, it implies that your hand is high enough to be able to really achieve a good vibrato. What I find quite often is students have their hand way too low, and then they're kind of reaching for notes, and it makes their hand ultimately too tense to really be able to shake that hand properly for vibrato. So, so important to have that hand high enough, and that finger angles test will really show you that. The second drill is my fingers close test. So basically what we're gonna do is play a G major scale, and we're gonna play every other note. So we're gonna play open G followed by second finger, first finger, third finger, second finger, fourth finger, third finger, first finger. So we're basically doing every other and coming back. So it's gonna be like this. Now what a lot of you guys are doing is as you're doing this particular scale that I just showed you, you're lifting your fingers way up too high in the air. And what that tells me is that as you're pressing down and a finger pops up in the air, you're pressing way too hard on the note that you're playing. And that ultimately will cause your hand to be too tense again for the vibrato. So I want you guys to really focus on doing this, but leading fingers as close as possible. And what you can, what you can actually do is um, take a book or a magazine and actually put it over the top of your hand and not allow your fingers to kind of pop up in the air. So you're gonna at first probably notice a lot of restriction. Your, your finger's gonna really wanna move that magazine or that book. That's pretty normal if you've been struggling with vibrato because you're pressing down way too hard. It's all about pressing down very lightly on the violin. It's so important to have minimal pressure because that's gonna allow our hand to be really loose and flexible to be able to really get that good vibrato. My third drill is my rocking motion test. So basically what I want you guys to do is set up your vibrato just like you normally have and I want you guys to put a circle right on your hand right here. Okay, it could be really anything. It could be just a dot, something you can see. And as you're doing the vibrato, I want you guys to focus on having that hand come directly at you and not letting that circle or that dot open up at all. A lot of students, what they do is as they're doing vibrato, they're, they're opening up their hand way too much. A lot, of that, um, a lot of reason for that a lot of times is that you're pressing down too hard. If I press down too hard, my hand naturally is going to go this way instead of this way. Okay, so we put that dot or that circle on the hand, and we just focus very, very small motions. It only has to be about this far, but we're focusing on that dot coming directly at us. So I'll show you guys from the back angle here, so you can see my hand. I'm trying to bring this directly at me, not opening up, coming directly at me. And if I'm doing that properly, I'm starting to build those good fundamentals of vibrato, which are really important. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I actually have a vibrato webinar happening here very soon. So if you'd like any of the tips and the drills that I gave you today, I'll be going over a lot more and actually an 18 day plan of how you guys can achieve perfect vibrato by doing even more drills and certain things that are really important to have success. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.